Okay, we're back. And today I'm going to show you how to make something melt in Flash uh, using, uh, I think it's called the Shape Tween. So I'll just open up Flash. Uh, Action Script 3.0. Cool. So I got a stage. Uh, if I want to change the stage, I can just click up in the size. One click. So I'm in Properties. 1280 left click by uh, 720 cool and then you see my stage has changed uh, by pressing spacebar I've got the hand grab tool so if I hold it down and then left click with my mouse I can move my page so I can have a better look at it if I'm zoomed in too much if I press Z it'll get my magnifying glass and if I hold Option, you'll notice it changes to a minus symbol inside the magnifying glass. So if I hold Option and left click once, I'll zoom out. Now I'm a bit far away, so again, I can left click, highlight the area that I want to zoom into, and it'll zoom in. Okay, this is good. So I'm going to make an object melt. So let's say... I wanted a cube to melt, an ice cube. Uh, so I might draw it with my paintbrush tool. See what happens. Um, so yeah, I can use that blue. Sure, why not? So my ice cube looks something like this. And I'll even have it like a three D cube. Okay, beautiful. That's a bit rough. Let's straighten that up just a little bit. Okay, cool. So just then I undid with Command Z, and that gets rid of the action I just did then, so I can redraw it with my paintbrush. Okay, cool. Now I've got an ice cube. Uh, I probably want to fill it in with a color, maybe a slightly different blue. Um, so if I want, now I've still got that same blue selected. If I go up to my uh, little color wheel up here click it once, I can decide if I want it lighter or darker so it's going to alter it there, so I'll just have it a little bit lighter ok, uh, so if I want to colour it in I need my paint bucket tool, which is K and then I just click and I can fill it in like so so now I've got my ice cube that I want to mount ok, should be easy enough so what next? Um, so I need so that's my first shape and so if I want to tween it to the next shape I'll need to draw uh, the ending image which is will be the ice cube in as a puddle so I'm gonna draw it on the next frame so if I just press uh, so I left click the next frame that I want to insert a frame so just in there and then press F5 uh, no sorry mistake press F7. Cool. Now I've inserted a blank keyframe. So there's nothing inside that frame now. So I'm going to draw my um, puddle. Now just so I can see uh, the original picture that I drew of the ice cube, I'm going to click uh, this little box down here that's onion skin. And you'll see now I can see a very faded version of my ice cube. I don't know if you can see it in YouTube but there it is there so okay so I want to draw so that's my starting frame will be ice cube and then I need to draw what it's gonna look like so use my paintbrush tool as before now I'll go back a frame uh, I think it's comma yep comma and full stop is a way of going back and forth in your frames so if I go back uh, I'll use my eyedrop tool which is how to, to select the color you want to use. So the eyedropper tool, I'll select that dark blue in there that I want for the outline. Uh, go back to my brush tool. Now I'll make sure I'm in second frame, so I'll move forward a frame using full stop. Boop. Okay, so now we're in the next frame where there's nothing and I can draw my puddle. So a puddle will be roughly something like that. So that's what the ice cube is going to turn into. Now I'll go back 
because I want to find the fill color. So again, so I've gone back with comma, my eye drop tool, so I can select the color, which is that light blue, slightly different light blue. Now I'm already on paint bucket mode. So when I go into the next frame, it's full stop. I can fill in that color just by left clicking. All right, cool. So I'll turn off onion skin for now. Okay, so if I go back and forth, I've got my ice cube. And then I've got what it turns into a puddle. Easy. Okay. So now what I want to do, uh, I can't have it melt in one frame because we're not really going to see anything. It's not really going to be animated. So I want to maybe you know, ice cube melts pretty slowly. So maybe I'll go to frame 30 so I can left click once my last frame. And then I left click again and hold it this time. And I'll drag it out to the 30th frame and then let go. Okay, so now my first frame, which is the ice cube picture, that frame goes for 29 frames, that picture, 29 frames, and then boop, and then it goes to my puddle. So it's not quite animated yet, but it should be easy enough. So it's as simple if I want to shape tween it. All I have to do is uh, click on the first frame and then I right click it, create shape tween. And now when I drag across, you'll notice it melts into a puddle. Now I don't really use shape tween that often because I think it's a bit clunky. Um, you kind of need to muck around with it to know how it works and how it doesn't work. It can be effective, um, but it's sometimes like you can see there, it's created a weird shape there. That can happen because uh, it's dealing with multiple shapes. If I was to uh, undo that, for example, uh, just Command Z undoes, undoes, undoes. So now I don't have that shape twin anymore. Now what I could do, um, I can make sure I have that light color selected, which I do. Go to my paintbrush. Uh, change the size of my paintbrush. Oh no, it's the shape. Change the size in this one here. Cool. Uh, I might get rid of that line. So there's not as much detail. So it doesn't have to sh try to think about what it's shape tweening as much. And now that might be a more effective shape tweening because it's got less to work with. The more colors in the stuff you have, the weirder it's going to look. So shape tweens is for very basic stuff. So again, I'll right click it once. Create shape tween and see what that looks. And that looks a bit better. Yeah, okay. I can work with that. Now with an ice cube, I imagine it starts melting slow and then finally blah. So to do that, um, to ease it out, so I'll left click on the frame. And you see here in the properties menu, I've got uh, tweening and then ease. That's on zero now. If I was to left click that and drag it to my right, it counts up and I think hundreds the most it will go. 100 and it's ease out. So if I go back the other way, it'll ease in. So I want to ease out. And now you'll notice when I play my animation, it starts fast and it gets slower. That's okay. Mm, I might actually put it ease in instead. Ease in. So now when I play it, slow, 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 fast. Cool. I might even. I don't think 30 frames is long enough because ice cubes melt pretty slow, I think, depending on the weather. So if I left click my little. Oh, I could just click on the timeline up here. And then if I just press F5, it'll insert a just a frame so it'll extend it so f5 again f5 and you'll see it's getting longer and longer and longer so now my animation i'll put it to 55 frames so now so if i play it just by pressing enter it slowly melts and it's melted cool not bad now if i wanted to add another effect i can make it slide in so maybe i'll do that quickly see what that looks like um so if I left click my first frame, hold shift, and then uh, left click the last frame. So now I've got all of that highlighted in my timeline. 
So right click it, uh, copy all copy frames. Cool. Now I'll insert a new layer. And now, now that I've copied those frames, I'm going to press layer two or layer one, sorry, and then put it in the trash can. So I can just hit the trash can and it's deleted. So now I've got a blank page. Okay, so now I want to insert new symbol. So I've got to insert new symbol. Uh, I'll call this cube. Make sure it's a graphic. Okay. So then my library, there should be a thing called cube, but there's nothing in it yet because I've got to paste the frame. So I'll go to the first frame, layer one, I'll right click once, paste frames, and now my animation is inside a symbol. Cool. So that way if I go back to my scene, so scene one, so I'm inside the symbol now, cube. If I go back to scene one, where there's nothing, I can drag my symbol on and there's my animation so it's actually animating inside the symbol but now I can uh, so if I just press V it's my selection tool now if I select it it's a symbol so I can actually move it around so if I wanted to say bring it in I could move where I want it to start so I wanted to start out there uh, if I was to left click where I want it to finish where it melts press F6 okay and now I could make sure I'm in the last frame in that keyframe move it to where I want it to be if I want it to go in a straight line I just hold shift and that locks it into a straight line so it doesn't matter where I move my mouse it'll still be in a straight line so I say I want it in the middle okay so now I'll go in the timeline to my back to my first frame right click that first frame create classic twin and you know it slides in and melts so you can do an effect that way cool not bad not bad at all cool if I wanted to I could alter it so to go inside this symbol to modify it double left click now I'm inside it I might have it as a puddle for longer. So if I wanted to extend this frame, I could just hover above it with my uh, the red line. By pressing F5, it'll just extend the length of that keyframe, the period of time it goes for. So I could have it for that long. Uh, and if I want it to be a cube for a bit longer at the start, so I could left click first frame, hold shift, left click the last frame so I've got everything highlighted that I want to move so left click and hold or drag it so I want it to be a cube for 20 frames uh, and then I probably left click the first frame hold option so this if you hold option and then left click something it'll duplicate it somewhere so if I hold option and left click and hold and then drag it to the first frame and let go and now I've got a, it's a duplication of that frame it's doing a shape tween or something so I might get rid of the shape tween on this one so right click remove tween okay so now it's just a cube image for 20 frames and then the keyframe comes in and it starts doing the motion uh, the shape tween sorry to frame 75 where it turns into a puddle and then it's a puddle from frame 75 to 100 so 100 frames in total so remember it's 100 frames so now if I go back into my scene so I can make it animate for 100 frames so I could have it come in as a cube and then have it so extend that frame so again I could just hover above it and I could continuously press F5 and that'll extend it. Or if I knew exactly where I wanted to go, I could left click on frame 100 and press F5 and it'll fill in the rest. So now if I watch my animation, so Ice Cube comes in, starts melting. Oh my God, it's melted. Cool. And that's it. That's how you make an Ice Cube melt. Achoo! 
Shabang! Go, that's it.